Hi guys! Today I thought it would be fun to read a story about Pete the Cat and then do a directed drawing together on how to draw Pete and his magic sunglasses. Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, these cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new way. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses. He looked all around. Right on! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way, and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong, Squirrel? I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Awesome! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete asked. I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I'm all upside down today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out, the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete kept rolling along until he saw Alligator. Alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, Alligator? Pete asked. I'm so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Rockin'! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete was rolling along and feeling all right, when suddenly he fell back. The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh! Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. Just then, Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Pete looked around without his sunglasses. Too cool! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, we're feeling all right. The end. Okay guys, today we're going to draw Pete the Cat together in his magic sunglasses. Now you may want to start drawing with a pencil first so you can erase if you need to, but I'm going to start drawing with a sharpie so that you can see what I'm doing. And once you've finished your pencil drawing, then you can trace over all the lines with a Sharpie or a black marker 
or um, just something that will give it a nice outline. Okay, so let's drop Pete the cat when he gets his magic blue sunglasses and all of a sudden everything is bright and shiny. All right, so to draw Pete, we're gonna draw him over here to the side of our paper and we have our paper landscape. That means it's wide or horizontal. This would be portrait or vertical, but we're putting our paper horizontal or landscape. All right, to start drawing Pete, we're gonna make the top of his head and it's a little curve like that. And he has these two pointy ears that stick up and they're kind of like triangles. They're these funny little triangles that come down like that. All right, now Pete has kind of a, a funny face. So the sides of his face come down a little bit more and then they come back in like this, down to where his neck and his body would be. And then he has kind of a funny like skinny body and so we'll just make his little skinny body come all the way down to the bottom of the paper. All right, so Pete has some sunglasses on and those look like ovals and they take up most of his face. So we're gonna draw a big oval with the little part for the nose and then another big oval on this side. And then let's, let's make another one right inside. That's kind of the rim of the sunglasses. Okay, and then you can kind of see the little pieces that stick off the side like that. All right, and then Pete's nose down here is just a triangle. And we can't really see his mouth, the way that the artist drew it, you can't really see his mouth. Um, let's give him some whiskers too on the sides of his face. There we go. Now, down at the bottom, we're going to make this line all the way across. That's the ground where the grass would be. And then up here in the sky, we're gonna make a big sunshine. So let's make a big circle and then we'll make these rectangles for the sun's rays. So that one kind of looks like it's, it's behind Pete in the background. Okay, and then in the, in the illustration in the book, there's a little, a little house and a little tree down here, so I think I'm going to draw that as well. So for the house, we'll put the two sides and then it has a peak at the top, kind of like a triangle top. And then the roof is right on top. And then it has a little rectangle chimney, a little rectangle door, and two little rectangle windows. And then right next to it, there's a big tree. There's a little tree trunk. Okay. So that's our drawing of Pete the Cat. Now all we need to do is color it. I think I'm going to use colored pencils, but you could use paint, markers, crayons, or whatever you have. Sometimes your arm gets tired and you just have to shake it out. <sighs> okay, what I'm doing with Pete's sunglasses is called blending. So blending is where you take more than one color 
and you kind of go over each other. So we can see both colors, but they're blending together in some places to make new colors. So I'm gonna blend a little green in there too. So where they touch, they make new colors. And then, but you can also see each color on its own. And they're creating this really cool effect. Then he has some yellow in there too. So your colors can go on top of one another. They can touch and all blend together. You know what? I think for the background, since there's so much space to cover, I'm going to use some watercolor because I don't want to have to use that colored pencil to fill in all of that space. Let me grab some watercolor real quick. love to see your Pete the Cat drawings on Instagram, just tag my account at art.lately. Bye!